hello viewers welcome back to machine art channel and if you're joining us for the first time welcome today we'll be doing a tutorial about the causes prevention and cure of schistosomiasis do you know what schistosomiasis is or bilharziasis schistosomiasis is simply called blood urine or bilharziasis that's one of the symptoms of schistosomiasis schistosomiasis is a disease that affects the kidney and even affects the digestive system how does it affect the kidney how does it get into the body or how does the body get affected by schistosomiasis the bilharzia worms will get through the skin through contaminated water or soil or through airing to the body of the man then it will go to the liver and hatch some eggs once the eggs are hatched it will be sent to the digestive system and the bladder of the man where it will begin to cause damages to the man this is just the life cycle of the disease from the damages it will cause you will now have perforated intestines or digestive tract and also blood urine by perforating the bladder by the time these red worms you're seeing gets into the kidney they begin to try to perforate through the walls of the kidney until they begin to cause some tears on the kidney walls and it will result to what blood urine when a person especially a child wants to pass the urine there may be blood coming along with the pee of the child meaning there may be blood coming out with the urine of the child schistosomiasis is a bad disease it will make a person begin to resemble a fashoko patient guys i have experienced schistosomiasis when i was little because i liked to play with water wherever i see water be it well water be it stream water be it swimming pool be it pond be it whatever water i liked to play with water so much so you see a lot of worms when we see these chistosomiasis worms we may be playing with them maybe with sticks or we even pick them and put on our palms you know like i may put it on my palms like this we'll pick eight worms pick different different ascari species and do what and be playing with them i will kind of be feeling uh, fun and if you don't know how to play with these worms they may say that you are you are scared you fear a lot so i kept on doing that and believing that i was catching fun until one day my stomach began to get protruded my stomach began to get big and i was taken to the hospital then i was diagnosed to have schistosomiasis or bilharziasis so guys this is the bilharzia worms my eye began to turn yellowish that's one of the schistosomiasis symptoms your eye will begin to yellow and you begin to the, the size of your stomach will begin to increase and you will begin to pass blood urine especially when it gets into the kidney so this can even result to death if not treated thank god i was treated i was taken to the hospital and medication was administered until i got better i was taking injection pills you know serum and so on and so forth and eating good until i got better you can see some of the effects of schistosomiasis this is the bilharzia worms 
These are the lesions and the protruded stomach and lesions on the skin. These are some of the symptoms. So you know what chistosomiasis is, and you know some of the symptoms of chistosomiasis. Then how do you prevent it, or how do you cure it? All right, guys, to prevent schistosomiasis or bilharzia worms from getting into your uh, bloodstream or body system and affecting your body system, affecting your digestive tract and kidney, you can endeavor to add bleach liquid detergent into your laundry and dish washing water before you rinse it especially when the water is coming from the well and may have what and may have bilharzia worms or it may not be thoroughly clean even when you don't see any worm around you in, in the water you can add bleach into the water all right and leave it for some time before you can use it then you can add the toll into your bathing water you may even add the toll into your laundry water or you can add isil into your laundry water and the toll into your bathing water or you can simply deionize the water you can boil the water until it boils in order for the worms in it to die before you can use it to take your bath another remedy is to add salt into your water that is sodium chloride however don't add too much sodium chloride into the water sugar is known to do what cleans the skin the salt may interfere with the detergent or the cleaning agent you're using to clean your body or your clothes and dishes all right that's one of the reasons why we don't add salt but you may add salt into the water you're going to use and rinse your plate because you 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 eat salt in your food all right just ensure that you do what you use clean water or you may even add water guard into your bathing dish washing and laundry water all right then there is another remedy for curing schistosomiasis even at home and it is one thing that many people have and you can cultivate it on your own at your backyard or you may even cultivate it at your garden all right i will be showing you the remedy you can use and cure schistosomiasis at home but before then we're going to add a liquid bleach detergent into this water containing this warm and come back after two to five minutes and check and see whether the warm is dead all right all right guys this is a liquid bleach detergent we're going to be adding liquid bleach detergent into this water as we've just added then we're going to allow the water you can see that the worm is moving and fast i should think that the worm is feeling uncomfortable you see so after two to five minutes we're going to check to see if the worm is still alive to prove that bleach works all right so before then let's go ahead and show you the cure uh or the home remedy to cure is chisto so messes guys fortunately i don't have euphobia mealy here but i'm gonna be showing you the picture of euphobia mealy then if you are making remedy if you're making herbal remedy for curing a patient that has chistosomiasis please and please 
endeavor to add a medelina indica or bitter leaf or right bitter leaf can get rid of schistosomiasis from the body there is a practice with chimpanzees chimpanzees like to consume this plant in order to do or to get rid of worms in their body how do they get rid of worms in their body they will swallow some of these plants maybe two or three pieces of this plant they will just fold it and fold it and fold it and swallow it by the time they will be passing stool or uh, excreta the next time they will do what they are going to be adjusting the leaf and when they adjust the leaf and you open the leaves you see worms in it or they adjust the leaves along with worms so most of the time that they love to consume this plant is when they have worms in their body when their body makes them feel like they should consume bitter leaf that's amedelina indica it's usually most of the time because they are having worms in their body so you see that even chimpanzees understand that taking things that are too bitter may not be very very good for a mammal because they are in the mammalian class well the human being is the higher mammal chimpanzees are lower mammals all right so they have that intellectuality but most humans may not know the use of this plant some people think that you can only wash the bitter taste out of this plant and consume it as vegetable or no the bitter taste can also do something good for the body just consuming much of the bitter taste will also affect you negatively especially affecting your liver all right so i'll show you a picture of euphobia mealy you can do a further research about euphobia euphobia mealy i will i will drop the spelling on the picture as i will insert it in the video and this amedelina indica in all right guys this is euphobia mealy and this is a great cure for schistosomiasis with its other plants bitter all right guys this does like two minutes indica. after pouring a little quantity of bleach in this water and our worm is still moving all right let's leave it to five minutes but i can tell that the worm is uncomfortable all right this is an experiment we are carrying out after five minutes we'll come back and check this worm and see whether the worm is dead to assure you that bleach as you see it that the chlorine in bleach can absolutely get rid of this worm all right all right guys this is more than 30 minutes later i added a little more bleach and you can see our worm is weak but not yet dead it's still moving but it's not moving as fast as it was moving so after a while after like 30 more minutes we'll check and see if it's dead so i will advise one thing from this experiment that we're carrying out that if you use it any water that has worms that you can even see with the visible eye such as this that you should do what that you should use a sieve or a mesh to sieve out the water before you add the water guard or you add the disinfectants all right and always ensure that you add the disinfectants and leave it for some time before you use the water and always make sure that the bleach water you use in washing your bathroom and toilet is concentrated when you're adding bleach it's better <coughs> that you add little bleach water and still add bleach to the water that you use to rinse the toilet and the bathroom all right or you may do what wash totally with bleach water before you rinse with clean water 
So we're going to stay for 30 minutes and check to see if our worm, our bilharzia worm, is finally dead. So this is how you carry out experiments to prove a team <laughs> scientifically. Now this medium contains fluorine solution. All right, and we're simply carrying out an experiment. So we'll check later in 30 minutes and see what has happened to this Bilhazia worm, guys. I added a little more bleach to the water again, guys. I just wanted to see the resistance ability of this Bilhazia worm, all right? So I added a little more bleach water, and it looks like after 30 minutes our worm might finally be dead we're going to check to see if it is actually dead if this was a microscopic organism meaning if it was an organism that we cannot see with our unaided eye we would have used a microscope you can use a table microscope or maybe a handless or microscope to check to see if the organism is alive or not if you see that it's not moving you may subject it to some conditions and see whether it will not move before you can make your conclusion about the organism so what we're going to do right now is to pour out the bleach water then add clean water then pour it out again and see if the organism will move before we conclude that it's dead. And then we will now give the advice on what needs to be done. Then, then that will be our conclusion, all right? So we'll pour this water out, leaving the worm behind. All right, we have only a worm behind. Then we will pour another water in it and pour it out. All right. All right, guys, as you can see, I poured the chlorine solution water or bleach water out and added clean water after rinsing this container thoroughly so we're going to leave the worm in this clean water for like two to five minutes and check and see if it can move if it cannot move we can conclude then that it is dead so you can see that it takes quite a long time before you can get rid of the worm in this manner all right so we will draw conclusion from this experiment on how you can get rid of this worm so easily as well as other worms you see on surfaces all right after two to five minutes of the worm being in the clean water it has not shown any sign of movement at all since it is a worm we can see with our unaided eye we can conclude that this worm is dead but it wasn't easy killing this worm all right so for worms you see on the surfaces in order to stop these worms from getting into the body of the human or animal i have just one advice from the conclusion we will now draw from the experiment so far i would say that you use a mesh you know this is like a mesh all right then when you have water what you will simply do is to do what is to sieve out the water and pour the worm you see because it is something you can see right you sieve out the water then you do what you you pour the worm on a surface then you can pour the concentrated bleach solution on the worm in order to kill it very fast right 
before you add the bleach to the water in order to get rid of the worms you may not be able to see with your unedited eye that's the microscopic worm if you don't have bleach solution or a disinfectant in order to pour on these worms to die like this in order to prevent the worms from getting into another water you can simply pour what you can simply pour sodium chloride all right on the worms until it kills them all right so you see you have sodium chloride you can pour it on the worms or you use bleach or any liquid disinfectant now if you are already infected from these bilharzia worms to the extent that you have schistosomiasis and blood urine and you're sure that what you have is bilharziasis maybe you went to the hospital and that was what they told you and maybe you have the natural remedy maybe you have bitter leaf or you have euphobia mili you can use it you can use it to treat the worm until you get rid of it for two to three weeks you can collect let's say 10 grams of bitter leaf and boil it in two liters of water 10 grams all right and boil it in two liters of water and add lemon in two liters of water you can add lime so so to say add lime add three to four pieces of lime to preserve it you can also do a combination of euphobia milli and bitter leaf so you can add five gram of euphobia milli and boil it in very clean water and for adults they can take uh, three tablespoons in the morning three tablespoons in the evening for two to three weeks for a person that is less than 15 years from 10 years to 15 the person can take two tablespoons and for a person that is less than 10 the person can take one tablespoon for a baby less than five years the baby can take a quarter teaspoon a quarter tablespoon then for a baby that is less than a year the baby can take half teaspoon all right morning and night to get rid of schistosomiasis in the body or you may use the pharmaceutical drug called praxiquantile you can get this medicine from the pharmaceutical store and there are many ngos like mitosad mitosad is m-i-t-o-s-a-t-h that treats this uh disease for have free in accordance to the height of the patient you may note them on the comment box all right or you may simply carry out your own experiment and tell us what you've observed. Subscribe to Machine Art Channel for more uploads. Thank you.